Hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me well. Uh, and it's a pleasure to record the video that perhaps you're going to play and see the demo I prepared recently. So the demo is related to streaming and uh, Fling integration that I was working on some time ago. And uh, yeah, well, everything you're going to see is publicly available with our repo on openhd/workshops. So yeah, what you're going to see on this uh, demo, you can uh, reproduce on your own. And uh, this repository contains an example of Flink applications. Actually, it's a single jar that contains two Flink applications, one that is reading data from topic to Postgres application, and another one that yeah, does it backwards, so from Postgres to topic. So uh, the repos contains uh, the definition for the Docker, Docker environment, which spans Kafka plus Zakiper plus schema registry, so the Kafka streaming uh ecosystem it also starts marquez uh available under the local host it also starts uh, uh postgres uh for data processing and airflow and two flink jobs which are run in a standalone mode so if you press docker compose app you're gonna have all this thing started uh so there's going to be an airflow and there's going to be a Flink app that is already running. So you can see there's like one running job and perhaps you can go to a running job and it's running for like six minutes and see what this job is doing. It's reading from some Kafka source and uh, writing it to, to some uh, sync. Uh, I think we can, we should be able to see this in Marquez. So under the local host 3000, there's a, um, Marquez instance running and there's a single job and uh, we can click on it and we see the graph. So the graph is of uh, a Flink job which reads from two topics, input one and input two and writes it to Postgres. So uh, yeah, the job definition contains a topic pattern. So uh, within the Flink there's a concept of a uh, topic pattern which can be a regex telling hey read from all the topics matching the regex and open integration was able to resolve this regex into uh two topics uh additionally within the thing integration there's an extra thread that uh you know sends the running events every uh 10 or 15 seconds wherever you configure and if there's a new topic uh that occurs within the runtime of the app uh, this graph will change into three input topics and so we'll have a new job version uh yeah so it's great to see it now we can log into the airflow and uh, yeah we'll see like two dags first one is the postgres dag which uh, contains some postgres operators like uh yeah something that creates other tables out of the existing tables uh, uh yeah it's like few queries and uh, i think we can enable it and uh trigger it and uh within a second those queries should be running and succeeded and after that we can go to marquez and refresh our graph and we see that the graph uh, got bigger so we do have our initial part and now we see there are like three postgres jobs that write to uh new tables uh which is pretty okay uh, yeah, we still have another uh, Postgres app, the Flink application that we would like to read data from Postgres to a Kafka topic. And this application is already up and running. It's just it's on hold. So it uh, connects Airflow API and checks if the Flink trigger DAG is enabled. So once we enable it, uh, it should uh, trigger with the next polling uh, time the second Flink app uh yeah are we going to see it actually no because we need to increase the depth of the graph and once we see it we see the overall graph which is a beautiful beautiful thing i would say it's beautiful because it's a cross-platform lineage we are mixing two technologies flink application and postgres uh processing to get through airflow uh the graph uh looks like this because we are able to we are defining data sets in the same way. So this data set is defined in the same way by a Flink app uh, writing to it and the Postgres uh, integration with an airflow that reads from it, which allows us to, you know, create a consistent graph. 
Uh, yeah, for me it was pleasure to to um, visualize this, and uh, I hope you share my happiness about it. Uh, uh, thank you for listening to this demo.